So this is an EMF detector. This will pick up the pulsating microwaves. And when you hear this, you know, it will make you more aware that uh, these devices here are very, very dangerous and it's only new technology. And um, we've got to, uh, you know, go back to the old analog or cord, you know, corded uh, monitors and that type of thing. Much, much safer. Okay, now I'm going to switch on the monitor. But before I do that, I'll switch on the detector. Now you can hear the silence here. Picking up no microwaves. Now I'll switch on the base unit for the baby monitor. And straight away you, you will hear it uh, picking up the pulsating microwaves. And so here's an acoustometer, radio frequency meter. Notice that this modem is innocently sitting here, apparently doing nothing. However, when we turn on the radio frequency meter, it is measuring the transmission of the wireless coming out of this modem. And you can see that the peak signal strength on the left on the left column of this meter is at almost six volts per meter. That's as high as it goes. And on the right hand side, the microwatts per square meter in terms of average is sometimes peaking up at ten thousand. These are extremely dangerous readings of radio frequency radiation going through my body and most of us have our modems sitting like this at our desk or maybe at the floor somewhere near us this modem and you can see that the peak signal strength on the left on the left column of this meter is at almost six volts per meter. That's as high as it goes. Three hundred. Okay. And we're gonna go up and read these two meters. And see how high their pulses are. Three hundred. One hundred and forty nine thousand. One hundred and thirty nine thousand. Over a hundred and ninety nine thousand. Listen to the clicks to find out how often it's pulsing. Over a hundred and ninety nine thousand, thirty nine thousand, listen to the clicks to find out how often it's pulsing.
So um, we're here in Berkeley, California, and uh, the whole town has been installed with smart meters. Um, and we have an analyzer here. And what's particularly interesting is, you know, you'd think that uh, really where there's electro smog all over. You, know, you have Wi-Fi and, and cordless phones and smart meters and cell towers. Really, the background level is very low right here, but what is notable as we're walking down the street is the, is the thing that is constantly picked up are the smart meters from everyone's house. You can see we're standing in front of this house. Uh, it blips about once every five or ten seconds, this one. Some, some of them um, blip more often. Than, there we go. There's one. And as we walk along the street, oh, there's another one. Mm -hmm. As we walk along the street, we're getting readings that are from the smart meters but not from cordless phones or Wi-Fi. So that shows that the smart meters are actually a lot more powerful than any of the other uh, electromagnetic fields around here. So, you know, when PG&E says, oh, well, you know, the, There's the, another smart meters, one the smart meters are so much lower uh, power than these other consumer appliances, when you're walking along the street in, a, in an area that's been installed with wireless meters, the smart meter is the thing that is really uh, strongest. Uh, stronger than any of these other things. So in terms of public exposure, uh, the smart meters are, are far more powerful. And, and th this, this claim that they're so much less than these uh, cordless phones or Wi-Fi, it's blatantly not true. And we've got this meter to prove it. Um, the chicks is the sound of a smart meter. Chick. Right. Chick. Yep. 150,000. 50,000. Okay, so... See, so, so hear the chicks. It doesn't, it doesn't stop. We're, we're in front of 112 meters on one bank here in Berkeley, and uh, what, are you, what are you reading on that thing? Uh, it varies between 50 and 150 uh, microwatts per square meter. Uh, not very close. Um, it's uh, non-stop. And you're st we're standing right by where the bush that was yeah. previously green and healthy, and now it is a stump. Hi everyone. This was yesterday, September 30th in Anderson, South Carolina. They started spraying late in the afternoon. The frequencies made themselves very visible in the sky everywhere you looked. The pulsating frequencies visible when you see the camera going in and out of focus, sometimes uh, going in and out of focus uh, short lengths rapid, then sometimes long post pulses. That's the reason why I am posting this video so that you can all see the pulsating frequencies right here in this video and then think about the smart meter on your home, the Wi-Fi in your home, the cell phone that you use. This is what your smart meter, cell phone, Wi-Fi is doing. Pulsating frequencies. You don't see them. You can't hear them. Your body feels them, but you might not be aware. You're not feeling what your body is actually feeling. Every cell in your body is experiencing these pulses. Shocks to your cell. Shock, shock. Then a long shock. Then a short shock. And they're not good shocks. They're damaging your cells. So, if you are asymptomatic now, you will eventually be symptomatic because the dangers that we are exposed to now 24 7, the poisons that we are exposed to 24 7, and have been 24 7 every day, month, year, for a very long time, the cumulative effect is now taking its toll. It's visible. I read it in the comment section. So many of you 
are really struggling on a daily basis. I see it in the trees. These frequencies, and it's not the only cause, but that they're killing the trees. And it's very visible. And the insects and the bees and the four leggeds and the two leggeds. Many of you have left comments. Not just one, two, three, but many of you. Your cats are wailing and crying, scratching the curtains, scratching the walls. Your dogs and cats and pets. I cannot believe how many comments I have received from people who, underneath the video that I posted, I don't know, about a week ago, about um, cats and dogs and all of the diseases that they never got before but now have allergies, skin infections, cancers, diabetes, tumors, or skin conditions that are just kind of undiagnosable, just like our medical doctors are having difficulty diagnosing a lot of the two-legged that come in with all of these different symptoms. We live now and can't escape from just this toxic cesspool And, yeah, my heart does go out to all of you who are struggling because I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. All of these pulsating frequencies. So last night, I felt like hell. This morning, I felt, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, every morning, it takes me hours to just clear my head, to, to feel like I can at least function a little bit. Today, I woke up. And I got worse and worse throughout the day. And for about three hours, I felt like I was going to die. I'm not kidding. I, I don't know what it was. It felt like I had some weird virus that was just not kind of breaking out to be a virus, but it was just, you know, kind of laying somewhat dormant, but not. I can't really explain it. These frequencies, they can use them to activate dormant bacteria and viruses. And they can activate them in our own body. They can make people feel like they have the flu. And many have left comments saying that they feel like something's different with the frequencies. The tinnitus that a lot of people are that a lot of you are experiencing, you're saying that it's gotten so much louder. I've spoken about how the frequencies have definitely changed because it's more of a high pitch. I'm getting so many jabs, feeling like somebody's sticking a needle inside my ear. There's sharp pains in one ear or the other. Yesterday, while these frequencies were going on. Several times did I feel like my body temperature rose. And many have also left comments saying that they feel like they're spraying something different. Maybe more lithium, one person said. I don't know, but I do feel like it because I've never felt like this before. And I posted that video a couple of days ago about the heavy spraying day. And then after it, that's when I started feeling like hell. And I have not been, you know... Yeah, periodically for these days, I have felt a little bit better, and then, boom, I'm down again. And I have to wonder, are they getting ready to do something and just really pummeling us now to keep us down, to keep us exhausted and sick so that we can't fight? And that's what really pisses me off, because I am a fighter, and I want to get out there and kick butt. But guess what? I'm now faced with so many limitations on a daily basis and the frustration of not being able to do what I want to do because I am so laid out all the time, it's pissing me off. This, I come out today and this is today. It's, it's hard to deal with. The toll that 
all of this is taking the cumulative effect of all of the poisons, all of these dangerous frequencies. It's showing up in my comment section under so many videos. And this is not going to get better. It's going to get worse. So you guys have to do everything that you possibly can to just build up your immune system and maintain your strength and health as best you can.